Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and tonight I have Earl Grey tea. Oh, it's a favorite of mine and I have been wanting it for so long. I am filming this at night. I'm sorry about the reflection in my glasses, but I can't see ya. Mm. So good. I love Earl Grey. If you've never had it, it is delicious. Put it right there. So today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And I'm wearing my I Live Decaffeinate, the Columbus Coffee Trail t-shirt. And you get that in Columbus if you go to all four of the 17 independent coffee houses. So I'm, I've done four, I think I've been to six or seven of the 17. And next weekend, I'm definitely going to another one. <laughs> Today, I went to Crimson Cup. So if you're in the Columbus area, I really enjoyed their iced, their cold brew today. It was delicious. All right, nothing is in any order and it's not huge, but it's good. So let's start. Uh, I found Valentina. This is a hot sauce. It's Mexican hot sauce. It's thicker, definitely more flavor than a Tabasco um, and a different profile than the Frank's Red Hot, but it's, it's really good. I've had it before. It's called Salsa Picante and this is a 12 ounce jar for a buck 25, I think was a great deal. So I grabbed that because who doesn't need salsa picante? Then I finally, finally found the mint Vaseline chapstick. I've seen all the other flavors, but my stores never had the mint. So finally we got the mint in and I've opened it and I've tried it and it's okay. Um, I will say that's Wellington behind me. I get a really mild minty taste to it, taste, feel. So it definitely is not as minty as Burt's Bees or the Chapstick Peppermint Stick, but it's nice and it's Vaseline, so that's always good. What are you doing back there, Bubba? Oh, I went to Ikea and I got new pillow covers and a new blanket and you can't, I'm not sure if you can tell, but those are butterflies. I got those at Ikea. Um, so, hmm. It feels very nice on your lips. Let's put it that way. I don't care for the rose. Um, I'm, it's time to start stocking up. So I grabbed two boxes of the peach. I like the peach tea. Uh, this is just Weiler's. You get eight in each. I'm almost out of all my drink mixes. I only have, um, I got Gatorade Zero, but that's mostly for summer. So I needed to refill. You'll see I grabbed a couple different flavors. I grabbed two boxes of Sunkissed Orange. And quite frankly, I need to stop buying this at the Dollar Tree and start buying it at Walmart because it's still a dollar at Walmart. But I was there, so I grabbed two of these. And actually, the better deal is if I go over to like Big Lots and get one of the big boxes, which is what I will do. So I did that. And for... Um, Easter, I grabbed these. They're ring pops in the shape of peeps. Um, I'll just spread them out over the two baskets that I'm gonna make, and there's four in here. And I think you get probably one of each. Well, there's three flavors and four lollipops. Marshmallow, oh, they're all marshmallow flavor. They're just in different colors. I just thought that was fun. So that's for Easter basket giving. Uh, they brought back these. I'm going to show you. These are dupes of the Happy Planner. Um, now, I know this because I'm obsessed with the Happy Planner. And they do um, they do fit. These pages will fit in my Happy Planner. Um, I thought this was fun. This is the bees. And it says, be positive. And then the pages are like this khaki color, craft paper color. Uh, but I love these small ones for making quick little notes for myself and then I can pop them out. I'll show you. If you don't know what a happy planner is, it's a disc bound system. So this will pop right out and these holes make it so that they pop right back in. But you can transfer them from one notebook to another. Um, and these are a little more shallow than a happy planner, but they fit no problem in my planner. So if I need to make myself 
uh, some future notes and then I just snapped it back in but I will use these pages and then snap them into my happy planner in the month that it is for um and I liked those I didn't see the black this time the black paper oh and if you're new to my channel welcome and if you could hit the subscribe button I would really appreciate it I am 500 subscribers away from hitting 20,000 second if you're new this on my face is uh pre-cancer sun damage that they burned off or froze off so it's it's not it'll go away I just had it done last week, so I look a little rough right now, but it's only because I had um, some dermatology work done. So if you're new, but I do appreciate it if you like and subscribe and let's hit 20,000 and maybe I'll do a giveaway. I think it's exciting. Okay, back to the haul. I grabbed this. I think this is very boho. It is um, just shelf liner, but it's sticky back so you can cut it and use it you don't have to have a cutting machine for this. You can just cut it with scissors. And on the back, there is a grid to do, so you can cut your squares and straight lines. And you get, this is QC Quick Cover, 18 inches by one and a half yards. And it is made in the USA. But I liked this pattern. So I grabbed that. Let's pull another bag out. Oh, we, oh, I got some pet supplies. Um, my brother has a medium-sized dog, and she's very high-strung. So I grabbed him this, thinking he could just chuck it for her. And it's, you know, this is in here. Now, is this going to be for a super chewer? Probably not. I would assume they could tear this apart, and Jody might be able to, but... It's a pretty heavy ball and you can just whip it around and he can throw it and she can bring, you know, bring it back. So I got that for our little Jody dog. And then for Sarah, I grabbed this for Luna. And these, this is MK brand. This is definitely not a Dollar Tree brand. And look at the color. It's this hot pink and neon green. And it's, um, you unscrew the top and they're potty pads or potty bags. So I'm like, even if she just uses them for the hot pink, potty bags she'll appreciate that and this can just go on her leash and I think any she can use these for any one and then I will be having Luna next month for a few days and so I grabbed some treats for her these are snossages and they're pretty soft and she likes these dental lights I try to get her Sarah sends her with treats but she has little treats for her and I try to get her the little larger ones that take a little bit longer for her to eat because if I give the boys some treats, she wants to get in there and they're not good for her. So I always make sure I have treats on hand for the Luna dog. I already showed that to Sarah, but I'll probably just throw it in her Easter basket because I don't think I'll see her much before Easter. Uh, yes, I will. I will see her at the uh, ow, at the end of March. I just banged my finger. Um, I found this, the child, Star Wars Nightlight, for my friend Adrian's little boy. I think he will appreciate that for his bedroom, and or she will appreciate it for her house. But I grabbed, and I've seen a lot of people hauling these, and I was excited to see it in stock and I think you know lots of people need light lights I use one around my house so that's for Brecken and oh here's some more um I grabbed this flavor for a specific reason this is Starburst all pink so tastes like the pink Starburst and on TikTok I saw a bunch of recipes using this um well I saw a recipe using the pink Starburst, and then if you've ever been in like a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx and seen the skinny syrup, they have a unicorn flavor that tastes like cotton candy, and it's really good. I've been having it in my water, but there's a recipe. You take 32 ounces of water, one packet of the pink um, drink mix, and one tablespoon of that cotton candy, and it's supposed to be delicious, so we're going to try it. So 
I grabbed, I like these anyway, so I grabbed two boxes, and on these you only get six sticks, six drinks. But like I said, I am I think I'm good now for a while. On that, um, oh, they brought these back, the little tiny moss-covered Easter bunnies. Although I feel like we could just use these for spring. I don't feel like they're just for Easter. And these are going to look super cute in a tear tray or on a mantle or anywhere, really. Um, in a floral arrangement, you can... Um, they have a hole in the bottom. You can put like a skewer and glue it in there and then put this in the middle of a floral arrangement, I think. So I just grabbed the one and you get three little bunnies, two sitting and one sitting up. So two crouched down and one up. So yeah, it's part of the Easter, but they're moss covered bunnies. I feel like we could use them for anything, right? Um, for my trip to Canada, I did purchase for my room, this dish drying rack I bought at Ikea today, a French press for my coffee, because I feel like that's very portable for me to have coffee in my room. And so I will be washing that out and my coffee cups, cause I'll bring a drink cup and a travel coffee cup. So I brought this just to put on the counter so I can wash my cups at night and they'll dry. And then I just will leave that behind. Um, I think because in most hotel rooms, if I do, if I wash the stuff in the bathroom, the marble, I don't want my glasses breaking and stuff. So, and this I think will just, it's for a buck, you know, it's just easier. Um, I found another eye planet. This one is a, um, actually it's a travel charger, but it has slots for two USBs at the bottom. And I think... Let me see, are they the same voltage? Yeah, these are the same voltage, I believe, or one is, no, they're two. So one is one volt and one is two volts. So you kind of got to know what you're plugging in where, but, and it, I think it tells you on the back. Let's see, English. Uh, it does not, but so you want to look up what, and I think 2.1A and 1.1A. So there's two options and it probably has to do with how fast something charges. But this is the brand again is iPlanet and I have got a single wall charger and I got a car charger from this brand and now I grabbed this two charger. So I thought that was nice to f a nice find. I'm moving too fast here guys. Um... Oh, I'm excited for this. Okay, we've all seen the Crabtree and Evelyn product. And all the stores I went, I saw the shampoo. So I didn't buy it because I'm like, well, I need conditioner. I found the conditioner. So now I have a shampoo and conditioner and a shower gel and travel size for my trip. So this is goat milk and oat uh, soothing conditioner and shampoo. I don't... It smells very um, florally perfumey, which is fine. It smells like my grandma, like I would think Crabtree and Evelyn would smell like, but it's a nice little shampoo and conditioner set to take with me. And um, yeah, it's a good brand. You get 50 ml or 1.7 fluid ounces. So they do have conditioner out there. My stores just put the, this out and then all of a sudden this random conditioner showed up, but they are the same color. Just the FYI. So I grabbed those. I because I said, oh, I need those now. Um I did pick up one more of the silicone pants because if you saw my short that I created, I've used them and they're fantastic. They work really well. I will tell you, um, I don't spray them with anything. I mean, silicone inherently is non-stick. So what I do is I fill them up like I would a cupcake pan and I put them on a baking sheet before I fill them up. You definitely don't want to just put this on your rack. I don't know that the rack would necessarily do anything to it, but it's floppy. You know, you would, it'll spill. So what I do is I set them on a cookie sheet or a baking pan and then I fill them up and then I slide the whole thing in the oven. So I said, well, let me grab the purple guy because these are fantastic and they're kind of like a perfect serving. This to me is two servings, but you know, it could be one serving. And you, if you do a cake, you get the little bunny face. 
You can also do all kinds of stuff in here. You can make soap in here. You can make wax. You can use these for wax melts. Um, they'd be kind of big or candles would be not thick enough, but you can. It's silicone. So we'll keep that down here for the kitchen. I found these. They're just little cute bunnies and I thought they would be sweet in my planner um, or I don't know, on a bag or something, a gift bag, you get eight. They had this bunny, they had just the bunny head, which was larger and they had carrots at my store and I think Easter eggs. But these are felt stickers and they're fun. They're just fine. We'll put them over here because that's what we do. Okay. Uh, now. I found these bags. This might be a better thumbnail. These are pretty cool. This is that neoprene fabric. Um, so it's thick, it's spongy. It definitely is like water resistant. It's what you would think of that a wetsuit is made out of or beach stuff, it would float. Um, Sarah and her girls are going to the beach. So these three are for them. And I'll show you a couple other things that I got to fill these with. So what I'll do is just fill them up and she'll take them and share them. And they'll have their little treats for the trip. And then I got myself this neon green one. It says, you're gorgeous on the green one. The blue one says, hello, beautiful. The hot pink one, which will be Sarah's, says, just adorable. And the purple says, be happy. So I thought these were great. I like that there were four of them. They're fantastic, especially if you use these for an Easter basket. If you've got a, a tween or a teenager and you're gonna give them maybe some Easter money and you just wanna give them a few pieces of candy or makeup or something or pens and pencils, um, I think these would be fantastic. And I love the color options that they come in and they're nice quality. Even down to the, the matching zipper pool that's you know, on there. These are nice. The zipper is nice. No problems. So I grabbed four because that was all the colors that they had. And then I will show you ooh, my knee, what I plan on putting in them when I get to it. Here's some of this stuff. Um, I grabbed one more of these because I wanted these needles. Now I will tell you, they have a package this size that's just in sewing needles. It doesn't have this little section of all the different size. It has just sewing, but they're not these needles that you can snap the thread in. They're the type of needle you have to um, stick the thread through the eye. So if that's important, to, not important to you, like having this ability, then get the bigger pack. But I got them because the snapping thing is fantastic. And I would just put these in my sewing kit. So we don't have to talk too much on that because we have, you know, we talked about it. I grabbed some beef sticks and I'm going to tell you, if you find this specific beef stick, these are mine. The brand is Tillamook and these are no sugar, no nitrate, no preservatives. And it's a smoked sausage. It's all just hardwood smoked. There is no additives or preservatives or nitrates or sugar or anything gross in these. And they're $1.25 is a fantastic deal because I buy these, the smaller ones, fairly regularly. And so I grabbed five of them um, to have in my snack stash, and especially with summer coming and being out a lot and riding my bike and doing all that. So if you see them, they look like a Jolly Rancher, but, or Jimmy, Jolly Rancher? No. You know what I'm talking about. The other, Slim Jim. They look like a Slim Jim, but they're not. These are Tillamook. They also, this brand also makes really healthy cheese. So that's a fantastic deal if you find them. Um, I ran into a ta uh, Titania. Titania, I think, is the brand. This is that German brand. And fun fact, I went to Marshall's and I picked up some stuff and I got a foot pumice for $4 and then I went to Dollar Tree and they had them for $1.25. That's okay. Um, this is a heel scrubbing pumice stone, you know, you soak your feet, uh, but that's a fantastic deal and it looks like a decent quality and you can, 
I was looking for the other one that they have, but I've only seen this so far. But I tend to, especially in the summer, gotta take care of our feet, guys. Soak them and then rub your heel and it gets rid of that dead skin, which we all want to have happen. All right. I picked up two of these S hooks. I have a out front a bird house, but I think I want to lower. It's a little high, so I'm going to put it on one of here. And these are great for hanging plants and stuff for the summertime. So I just picked up one because I couldn't remember if I had them. Um, a lighter because it was white. And I like these and I burn candles a lot. So nothing exciting there. Uh, this is exciting. It's a headband. I don't know if it'll fit my head. But we're going to try because um, it's cat ears. Sure does fit my head. We'll leave that on. It was in the Easter section with the children's stuff. It is a child size. I can tell you that. Let me see. Okay, get it under my glasses. It's child size here. We'll do this. I got my hair cut yesterday, but I did nothing with it today. There we go. I have cat ears now. Just saying. Okay. Uh, for the girls, here's two. There should be a third one kicking around here. I grabbed them for their Florida trip, some banana boat sunblock. We all have to start wearing our sunblock. This is 30 Ultra Sport, so it will stay on. It's good for the face. It'll stay on with sweating and beaching and sportsing. So there are three of these. And just to give you an idea, they will just do this. And I will put one in each bag. But there's one more coming. I just don't know where it is at the current moment. And then I grabbed one of these. It's a six pack. And it is just a little bit of Purell sanitizer. But I got them. It's a single serve. So what I will do, again, two of them. Each of them will go into their little bag. So now they have a sunblock and two little um, individual hand sanitizer. So if they're out and about at the beach or wherever they're going to be, they'll have sunblock and they'll have some hand sanitizer because we have to be safe. They're going to be in Florida and they just need to be safe. So there, I just put, oops, threw that on the floor. Um, so I just stuff their little bags and that's what I'll do. I'll just leave them. And then as I buy stuff, I will fill their little bags up for them. And I try not to make it too heavy uh, because they are flying and Sarah will take them. So I just, little things. Um, I grabbed two of these books. This is uh, Sudoku. Sudoku. Um, and this is Bible's Word Search. So I have a friend that was in a car accident. And uh, poor woman. I feel my heart aches for her. So I'm putting together a little goodie bag to take. She's in, re in rehab right now, getting recovered from her injuries. And I figured, you know, she's probably getting bored. So I brought, I'm going to grab her a couple of these, some moisturizer. I'll get her a pen and then maybe, you know, I don't know, some other little things, some little treats or something and go visit her and drop this off. So maybe she'll have something to do because I'm sure she's bored. I mean... You know, she's by herself during the day while everybody is at work. I'm sure of it. Um, I grabbed, I couldn't remember if I got this for Sarah yet or not. But if I did, I'll pass this on to my cousins. But this is that uh, Magical Starfish Gummies by the Magical Brand. I think it is. What brand is this? I don't know. But I heard they're really good. So I grab. I I think I have one. So I wanted a second one for the second basket I'm putting together. But if I don't, I'll figure it out. But these are just sugar coated gummy starfish. How fun is that? And I should get the bubble gum too. So we'll, I'll get the bubble gum later. I found some of these coasters. I will tell you what they are because I've used these for years and currently I'm using those, you know, the colorful rounds that are, you can wash your face with that the Dollar Tree sells in a three pack. I have those in my cup holder for my car, but that's what this is for. I'm taking it out so I can show you. 
Um, these are a good deal. So these are that thirsty. It's um, like a ceramic, raw ceramic that absorb moisture. So if you have a cup that's sweating or you spill a little bit of coffee or whatever, this will absorb the liquid and it won't swim around in your cup holder. And then you can take it out and clean it because you can just reach in there and get it. So I paid upwards of $8 for these. But I got a pineapple and a rainbow and they had a peace sign. And I think they had a tie-dye something. If I had, maybe the peace sign was tie-dyed. I don't remember, but you get one. So listen, they're like clay or terracotta. So they will absorb water. And you just put them in your little cup holder and then you can sit your cup on top. It'll sit flat. Um, like I said, each package has just the one. But I liked these two for summertime. So I thought those were fun. That's from my car, which I need to clean before my trip because it's nasty. And by that, I just mean there's a bunch of stuff in it that needs to be taken out, like, you know, wintery stuff. Oh, one more, one more Easter thing I found. Um, this makes me super happy. I walked into a store and, was, and had to do a double take. It's a sign. It's a shelf sitter. These are pom-poms, the little puff balls. And there, this one is pastel, obviously. And then they had one that was a little brighter colors, but I liked the pastel. And this is going to sit perfectly on my mantle. And I love it. I mean, I, this, there's nothing I would do to this for a dollar 25. Thank you. Dollar tree. And it is a green briar brand. I don't have any of the dollar tree plus in my area, but I have seen some fun things that I might want to get. Um, if it ever comes my way, but we haven't seen any yet. Also, I got some different garland. This is plastic eggs that are strung, and then it's tied together here. So when you want to untie it, I grabbed two. I think these are going to look fantastic, like on my kitchen, little small shelf, or in a tiered tray, for sure. Um, I love the speckled look to them. I don't know how long they are, if it tells us. Um, it does not tell us how long it is, but you could also tie two together when you untie this bow right here and then you can, you know, lay it out. But I think with this compared and then the wooden beads, I come on also, it could be a, an Easter necklace to wear with your Easter bonnet. <laughs> we should take this off too because it's squeezing my brain. Um, so yeah, I thought these were fun. I don't do a huge amount of Easter decorating. I do a lot of bunnies and, but like ceramic glass type stuff and a lot of greenery, but I don't do a lot of, um, I, sometimes, but these, these few things I really like and I think will be fantastic. So we will do that this year. I still haven't put away my winter in my dining room, which I need to do. Uh, just a couple more things here. I picked up some more of this Love My Carpet. It does a fantastic job um, on stains, picking up things. Now I will tell you the, the, I don't know what it's called, but you get it like Target or Walmart is better, but this is not terrible. How about that? And for $1.25 in a pinch, because I haven't found the um, other carpet cleaning foam, but I do prefer the foam over the spray. Um, and this one is not for pet stain or pet odor, but it does work. So what I do is if one of my cats makes a mess, usually he's thrown up one of them or fur ball or something, I spray it, let it sit. I take a scrub brush and I scrub it. And then I pat it and then I do it again and it gets out everything that gets on my carpet. So for good for spot cleaning. Um, this is definitely a smaller can than the other stuff. The renew renews it, I think it is that I get. And I get the foam for pet things. Just if anybody cares what I buy. Um, I picked up just a little kit, just a little manicure set. Mostly because I want to put the clippers in the, um, one of the clippers if we're being truthful. And if I find a better brand, I'll grab them. But this is what they had for now. I like to keep them in my car and I lost the set. 
it drives me nuts if I break a nail and I can't fix it. And then I start biting. So I'll throw this in my console and I have a nail file, a tweezer and a clipper. And this is fantastic for exactly what I need, which is just some on the go grooming, I suppose. <laughs> and now that they're lifting mask mandates, I have to start plucking again. And that's rude. All right, the last thing I picked up also for the same child that I got this for, it, he likes to do puzzles. So I grabbed him an Avengers 48 piece um, puzzle. I'm not sure which, I guess it's, that's the picture of whatever that is. But he likes to put little puzzles together and he does a really good job. So I grabbed him the 48 piece set. He's five. And this is for six and up, but his mom will help him. So I grabbed these two things and I got him a couple easy reader, like my first reader books. Um, I'm going to be seeing his mom next weekend. And I thought I would just bring a few little, little somethings for him because he's cute and he likes it. But guys, that is everything I got this week at the Dollar Tree or the multiple Dollar Trees that I go to. So I hope you enjoyed. And like I said, if you could like and subscribe. And let's get to 20,000 subscribers. Who knew we could do that? All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.